Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about a few ways of how you can lower your in-game ping and packet loss. So for the first step you have to go to search, type in your CMD, it will take you to command prompt. Click it as one as administrator because it is extremely important that you guys should use it as one as administrator or else it will won't work. Now type in here ipconfig slash flush dns you can find this command in my videos description when you do your when you do ipconfig flush dns your system clears the cache of name to ip entries and loads them from the connected dns server this will provide you the ip address to which current dns is pointing so you have successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And for the second step, go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing, go to ethernet, properties, configure. Now we will be tweaking and optimizing the settings for better ping. ARP offload, disable, energy efficient ethernet, disable, flow control, disable. Just copy all the settings I'm doing. Interrupt moderation, disable, IPv4 checksum offload, disable, jumbo frame, it disable, it should disable, maximum number of access queues, uh, it depends on how much cores your CPU has, to check whether, good task manager, performance, CPU, as you can see I have 8 cores, so if you have 4 cores or more than 4 cores, uh, like me like 8 cores uh, so you go for 4 access queues if you have 2 go for 2 if you have 1 go for 1 network address make sure it should not be present it should not be present and a subload should be disabled receive buffers though it is a unique because receive buffers is a actually a value we put in so safest value for all the computers are 512 and 1024 you can go up to 2048 if you have enough RAM before you ask why should we disable all this stuff I'm gonna leave a link in description to an article that explains why the settings should be the way they are receive site scaling this will be the first option we will leave enable shut down wake online disable Sp speed and duplex in this option you have to go for the highest value possible in my case it's 1 Gbps full duplex in your case it might be 100 Mbps full duplex or 100 Mbps half duplex always go for full so in my case it's 1 and Gbps so I'm going for full duplex disable this 2 TCP checksum offloads disable the 2 week on settings at the bottom everything I didn't mention you don't have to worry about and you should definitely see an upgrade in your ping and your LAN network performance and for the third and the last step go to search write graphics settings this is a decently new feature from Windows that allows you to manage the energy and GPU performance of any certain application by making it on high performance. You're making it so more of our graphic cards are being used for relevance specifically. So for how to do it, uh, just browse it, uh, shoot again, select the, your application, whatever it is. You can do it on any application. It will just make it on high performance and it's done. You can definitely see an upgrade in your gaming now. And guys make sure that your windows and your drivers are up to date. Like in my case I haven't updated so I'm updating now. Check your drivers if they are up to date. So guys that's all for today's video I hope I helped you out if I didn't comment down your problem below I will surely make a video on that and also don't forget to like and subscribe so stay safe and stay healthy